a central problem in the understanding of cancer lies in a very counterintuitive idea, and that is cancer is rare. From a human health perspective, this isn't true. One in two people develop cancer over their lifetime, and of those, one in two will uh, go on to die within 10 years of uh, being diagnosed. But cancer is a, a disease of cells. These cells uh, that grow into cancers have a series of errors and make a series of mistakes that causes them to behave inappropriately. They go out of control, they start to divide and proliferate, and that drives the growth of the cancer. Seen in that context, there are actually very few cells in the body which go on to develop into cancer. At any one time in the adult body, there are 35 trillion cells. So the chances of a single cell or a handful of cells going on to develop into cancer over a whole lifetime are shrinkingly small. If you compare, for example, the manufacturing fidelity in uh, device uh, manufacturers like smartphones or cars, the error rate is perhaps one in 10 devices will fail over a couple of years due to a manufacturing defect. Now compare it to the copying fidelity in human cells, we have a million of a chance of that same kind of failure due to a fundamental error. There's no human process that can achieve this degree of fidelity uh, that cells are able to do. And this presents a real problem for understanding cancer because it's these rare events that drive the progression. My group is using techniques from computer science that are specifically developed to address these problems of rare events. These techniques, known as formal verification, use mathematical proof-based techniques, which allow us to guarantee the presence or absence of these mistakes, these bugs that fundamentally drive the cancer, and allow us to have a very different kind of picture on how the cancer is developing. Within this space, my group is doing a lot of different types of work including relating to the evolution of cancer, the networks that control and uh, drive the cancer forward, the signaling networks, but also the fundamental cellular networks that carry out processes. And finally, how cancer cells interact with one another in the space of a tissue. It's by understanding uh, and analyzing computational models at all these different levels that we're able to get unique insights that hopefully help us with early detection and diagnosis, but ultimately to give therapeutic benefits to patients.